Hey everyone, it's great to be back. Uh, this is another program from Life for Living Well. And today's program is totally different to the other program that I've presented in the past. Why is that? It's because we just decided to take some of the extracts from the diary. Uh, there is a script diary that came out a few months ago. And it's something about asking a deeper life question about life. I'm going to make this uh, particular uh, recording a little bit shorter than the previous recording that you might watch on this channel. As I mentioned uh, last uh, broadcast, I'm going to start bringing some people into this program because it's always good to listen to different perspectives and view and see how insightful their view of things are totally different from yours and helping everyone including myself so what i have for you today is really any topics or any question that i have randomly from the people that uh, right but what I have to you today is taking some of the poem that I've wrote in the past and this poem is something that happened but I'm going to just uh, read it like I was reading a book and if I pause during the reading please forgive me so let's get started okay uh, the title of the poem is woman being as a computer system one day jack woke up after four hours of sleep there he lies in bed with his back for a few minutes he decided to exercise a deep breathing as a way of observing his breath all of a sudden, a thought flashed by. He observed it. Then he thought, it is much better if I wrote this down. So he put the headline of the story as, what a woman being. So, So he started writing after asking himself this question. So let's see what Jack wrote down as his own view what a woman being is. He wrote, a woman being is just a piece of computer system which made of layers of complex properties. First, the physical component, the hardware similar to the body. It comes in various packages sometimes appealing to eyes, sometimes repel. But then the operating system's influence is internal and external input and output. To a woman being similar to his mind or her mind, which is the powerful element of her ease making. where his belief, habit, and attitude come from. Above all, like computer, series of software runs in parallel, which make computer complex and made it expensive, and constant patches in order to adapt to his environment. So did the woman being. In his thought, if he doesn't fit it, he can break or sabotage him or herself in the making. Woman being taught largely from, from his or her perception of what view, mostly 40. The quality of information computer system offered largely depends on quality consumed to a man consume. To a man, 
the information he consumes outside of himself, environment, beliefs, culture, education, family, relationship, affect largely his output in life. How do you purchase, how do you apply patches, I beg your pardon, he asks, how do you apply patches to a woman being? What kind of patches to apply to a human being? He felt compelled to write this down. We cannot change or become war. We should strive to become a sensible human being, a moment by moment, without being fooling ourselves that we are perfect. We are capable of bringing joy and pain to the world, to other people's life and all living beings. Awareness of this terrifies him every day. What a woman being. I thought it was a wonderful uh, poem, a wonderful story, a wonderful message to share. I just decided that I'm not going to just keep it for myself. I'm going to just make it a a broadcast to everyone that watch this particular channel. Let me know what do you think? What is a woman being? That is Jack B of woman being. And I still don't have a absolute answer for it. But I think that the last passage of his poem is the one that touched me. It would be a foolish to think like you and I are perfect. We have to accept our shadow self and our true self. That we are capable to make the world better. We can also be able to destroy it by our own actions and our behavior. We are capable to bring joy to our life and other people. And we are also capable to bring sadness and pain. So I hope this little story touch somebody's heart um, write me let me know what you thought about this and i hope you have amazing week and day thank you for watching and listening to this channel thank you once again my name is richard and i hope that this message helps someone today have a wonderful day thank you